In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a digital store for free using System.io. Now, using System.io's new digital store feature, you'll be able to create a store that's similar to what you could create on a platform like Standstore or Linktree, for example. So with System.io, it's really quick and easy to create your digital store. It took me only about 20 minutes to set mine up, which currently looks like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this digital store so you'll be able to follow along and create your own digital store using System.io for free. Free! 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 Yep, you don't even need a paid System.io account in order to use the digital store feature and get this set up, which is pretty cool. Now, if you don't yet have a System.io account, then you can use the link in the description below this video to get access to a free account. Or if you do already have an account and you want to follow along with me in this video to get your store set up, then you can also use that same link in the description to get quick and easy access to your account. Now, with that said, let's jump into System.io and I'll show you how to set up your digital store. So when you log into your System.io account, you want to head over to websites and then come down to digital stores. And of course, if this is the first time you set your digital store up, you're not going to see anything here at all. This is the one that I've already currently set up. So if I just click on this, this is going to show us what it looks like inside your account if you're setting it up. And as you're setting it up, you can see what it's going to look like on a mobile view. And of course, as we know, if we click on the view button at the top, we can see what it's going to look like on desktop. So now let's go back into System.io websites digital stores and I'll show you how to create your own from scratch. So come over to the button in the top right that says create, click on this button. Now, first of all, we're going to name our digital store. So as this is just a demo, I'm just going to call it test store. And then here is where we would select our custom domain. So if you already have custom domains set up in your account, you'll see them in the drop down menu here. If you don't know how to add your custom domain to system.io, then I have a video tutorial showing you exactly how to do that on my channel. I'm showing that video on the screen right now. I'm also going to leave a link to that video in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find it. Next, you're going to want to select your language and then click save. Oh, system.io wants me to add an extension here to this store since I do already have another funnel set up on this URL. So I'm just going to just for ease select the standard subdomain for system.io. But really, you're going to want to create your own custom domain here. It's going to look so much more professional and then going to click save and now we come into the editor for our store so now first of all you'll notice you've got two options here which is to add a new product or to add a new section but before that we're just going to customize the look and feel of our store so we come over to the top right where it says edit header click on this and now we can name our store add a bio for our store and also add links to our social profiles and to our website and anywhere else where you might want to add a link for example, if I just write a bio here, see straight away, it fills it out on the visual side of our store so we can see what it's going to look like, which is pretty nice. I'm also going to head over to my YouTube channel and grab the URL of my YouTube channel and paste that in right here. And I'm also going to grab the URL for my blog and copy that into the bottom one here where it just says HTTPS. And of course, you can fill out all the others. I'm not going to do that for now, just to save time. For my email, let me just put my email in. And as you notice, each time I've added one of these options, the icon has appeared on the top of the store here. So I've added the YouTube URL and now the YouTube URL icon has appeared. I've added my website as a link, which is appearing here and the email address and the little envelopes appearing here. So the more you add, the more of the icons are going to appear here at the top of your store, which is pretty nice. Anyway, let's go back up to the top and add our profile image up here. So if you click on the little pencil icon, it's going to now open up a folder on your computer where you can find your image. I'm just going to add this image here and drag and position this where I want it. Click upload and now our image is added. Now come down to the bottom, click on save. And now before we add any products to our store, let's first go to the top button here in the top right where it says edit design. Click on this and now system.io brings you into the template library where they've created several different templates for you to choose from. And they're all pretty nice. They're quite professional looking. For example, if I just click on one of them, Straight away, it's going to change what our store is going to look like in the left hand side. So you can see if you like it or not. Change to this one or perhaps this one here. Now, I personally quite like this one. So I'm going to choose this one here. And now at the bottom here, you can see they've got the different color menu for the three different colors that are used on our storefront. So if I click on the purple, for example, and let's say I'm going to change that to the green, which is my brand color and background, if I change that to black, and as I change that to black, you notice it automatically changes the text to white, which is nice. So, so far, so good. And this gray background, if I want to also change that to black, I can or change it to any other color you might want. I'm going to keep it to black for now and then come over to the bottom right and click on apply theme. OK, so, so far, so good. Now, let me show you how to add your digital products to your store. But if you don't currently have your own digital products, then don't worry. You can use the digital store feature in system.io to do affiliate marketing and add your affiliate links as well as collecting email subscribers. So let me show you how to set all that up. 
as well as how to add your own digital products if you have them ready to go. So back in system.io, let's click on the add new product button. Now here we've got three options. First one is to create an option that links to an external URL. So this is what you'd use for affiliate marketing to add your affiliate link, or if you just want to link to any other external URL. For example, if you want to link to a particular blog post on your website, or if you want to link to the sales page of one of your funnels in system.io and so on. So it's a very versatile option. There's a lot you can do with it. Now, collecting emails, of course, self-explanatory. You're going to use that to build an email list and collect email subscribers. And the last option here is to sell your own digital products. So let me show you the external link feature first. Let's click on this. Now, first of all, you can add a little thumbnail. This is what it's going to look like in the left-hand side on our store on a mobile view. So for example, just for speed here, make it easy and simple. Let's just say you're going to add your affiliate link to promote system.io. So let's change the title to something like free all-in-one marketing software suite. Now we can write a little description about the product here. And as I've added a description here, we can see it's changed on the front view of our store here. Now the buy button, change this if we like. And then down here is where we're going to add our affiliate link. Place your link in here and then, oh, well, you would publish, but let's actually also add or change this thumbnail out as well for something better. So if I click on this thumbnail option here, it's going to again open my downloads folder and I'm going to select this little image that I put together, click on upload, and it's already changed it out on the store instantly. So really simple. And then let's click publish. Now, so far we can see in left sidebar, this is what our store is looking like. If we go and look at the desktop version, if I click on this button here, it's going to open straight to system.io via my affiliate link. So pretty simple. And you can add as many of these as you like. Anyway, let's go back to add new product and let's now add the digital products we own. So this is good for things like PDFs or eBooks or spreadsheets, templates, things like that. Now, this new digital store feature in system.io is not yet set up where you can directly sell one of your courses in system.io, but there is a quick and easy workaround, which I'll show you in a minute. But first of all, let me show you how to use this feature for something like an ebook. So this is an ebook that I sell in my system.io account. This is the checkout page I've got set up for it. So I'm just going to borrow some information from this to set up selling this product via my digital store. So under the title, I'm just going to paste the title in there and let's grab some information for the subtitle and just put that in here. I'm going to change this button here to more info and you'll see why in a minute rather than me saying uh, by now, because once they click this button, they're actually going to go to a checkout page for the ebook where you can give them a bit more information on the product. Before we do that, let's add the thumbnail. So again, it's going to open my downloads folder. I'm just going to select the cover all that in and it's going to instantly update on the front of our store. Click on next in the bottom right and now it's going to bring us to the checkout page and where we can add another image here. So I've got another image set up for this ebook. I think it's this one here. Yep, that's the one. So I'm going to pull this in and click on upload and now that's added to digital store here. So now here we can add a bit more information about our product. So if I go back to where I've got my other sales page, I'm just going to pinch some of this info that I've got set up just for speed. Uh, let's grab all of that. So of course, you don't actually have to have a separate funnel set up to sell your product via your digital store. You could just set it via this digital store only. It's just that I so happen to already have this sales page created for this product. So I'm just using this for speed just to show you guys. And I'm just going to copy and paste the information in here. And it's automatically going to show that information on the checkout page of my store, which is pretty cool. Now, if we scroll down on the store page, as we see the bottom here, we've got a section where the person can enter their name and email address. So let's scroll down. Here is where we're collecting the name and email. I'm just going to move that up. So we've got the first name before the email. Just think that makes a bit more sense. And now underneath here is where we can set up our pricing plan. So if you click on the plus button and now here we've got the option, depending on what, of course, what this product is, how are you going to charge them? Is it a one-time payment subscription or payment plan? So for this particular product, it's just going to be a one-time payment. Now, if you don't yet have a price plan created for this product, you then need to click on this button here or this link here that says create a new one, click on this. And now you have the option to name the products. This is what it's going to look like on the order form, what your customer will see. And then whatever you name it here is what you will see in your dashboard. So personally, I'll just name that the product name and just going to paste that over into here. And our statement descriptor, this is really important. This is going to be what your customer will see on their bank statement or their credit card statement. So make sure this is very clear to your customer when they see that statement, because they might see it a month perhaps after they've purchased your product. If they don't recognize it, they might contact their credit card company for a chargeback, which you, of course, definitely don't want. So just make it clear. So when the person sees it, they'll recognize the payment. And of course, providing they like your product, they're then going to be happy with it and then not refund. And here you just enter your price, like whatever it is, or $10 or whatever, and then click save. Now, I do already have a price plan set up for this, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click close on that. 
Alternatively, if you did already have a price plan set up, you just click the plus button, select one time payment, and then from choose existing price plan, scroll down and find one I already had set up for that product. So I'm selling the ebook with the audiobook for $7. Click on save. Now here we can set the payment methods. Click on here. I already have Stripe and PayPal set up in my account. So I'm going to check both of those options just to give my customers flexibility on payment methods. Choose your currency. I'm going to leave it on US dollars. Click save. And now we need to go to the bottom right to click on next. And now here is where we can upload that digital product ready to be automatically delivered to the customer once they purchase. So if I click on this option here to upload, now it's again going to open me to my downloads folder and I'm going to find that product. So it's a PDF, which is this one here. Click on open. And now that is added that digital product to system.io ready to be delivered when they purchase. But before we've completed our setup here, the next thing we need to do is to just set up the confirmation email. Because once the person purchases this product, system.io on your behalf is going to send them this email with the link to that product you just uploaded for them to then be able to download it via this email. So of course, put your subject line in here, change this for your product name, write a preview text if you want to. And now here, of course, write whatever you want to write in here. But if you leave these little placeholders in place with this, what's going to happen is system.io is automatically going to put the name of your product in this space here just by leaving this placeholder, which is pretty cool. And again, just by leaving this placeholder for download file links, when the customer receives this email, this will be a clickable link to your digital product, which is cool. So you don't actually need to worry about copy and pasting a link or anything like that in here. Just leave this in place. And when this email is sent to the customer, this will turn into the link. The customers will be able to click and then download your product. Once you're happy with your email, scroll down to the bottom and click on save. And then come over to the bottom right and click on next. Now, the last step here is your thank you page on your digital store. So this is what it currently looks like. And of course, you can add whatever title and whatever subtitle you wish. Then when you're happy with it, click publish. Now, if you go and head over to our digital store, what well, we can see it in the mobile view first, it looks currently like this. And on the desktop view, it currently looks like this. So now let's head back to our digital store and I'll show you how to collect email subscribers via your store. So by clicking on the add new product button and then clicking on the option to collect emails, here is where we can customize the opt-in form to collect email addresses. So pretty self-explanatory. Again, we can change the thumbnail of this little envelope if you wish, just by clicking on here. It's then going to open up files on your computer for you to be able to drag a thumbnail in if you want to change that out or just leave it as it is if you're happy with that. And then, of course, you can change the title here for your newsletter as well as the subscribe button. And if you want to, you can write a little description, tell people about what your newsletter is about. And then down here, again, we've got the form fields where you can delete the first name if you want and just click the email only. Or if you want to add more, you click on this option here to add more form fields. And then you've got other options if you also want to collect their phone number and home address or whatever. Wouldn't recommend that if it's just for a newsletter. Generally, the more information you ask them, the less amount of people are actually going to subscribe to your email list. So I'd keep it simple, but of course, that's your choice. And then click next. And then it's going to bring us to the thank you page. Once someone subscribes, they're going to see this little thank you message. And again, you can change your title and your subtitle of your thank you page. When you're happy with it, click on publish. And now we can see down here, We've got the three items set up. We've got an affiliate link in here. We've got a product that we own in here, which is a ebook. And we've got the email newsletter subscribe option here. Now we can also reposition these. If I want to drag this up, reposition it, and it'll instantly reorder it on your store. Now next button here, it says add section. So if we click on this, this isn't anything fancy. All it basically is really is giving you the option to create a heading. So for example, if I wanted to sectionalize out my store, I could write something like join our community. Let me add this section here and drag this up. So that makes a bit more sense. That that's above the place where people can subscribe to our newsletter. And then if I had another section here, perhaps I entered resources and tools. And now let's pull this up underneath the email opt-in box. Now we can see we've got different sections here within our store. Now, what about if you want to sell an online course with your digital store? So as I showed you earlier, selling digital courses with your online store in system.io is not as smooth as it is if you want to currently sell something like an ebook or a template or something like that. However, you can do it. And there's two ways to do it, which I'll show you in a minute. Personally, I think system.io's developers are probably going to add this feature to the digital store area to make it easier and smoother to sell your online courses. I've not spoken to them. It's just what I imagine they probably do. But in the meantime, these are the two workarounds and I'll tell you which one I personally think is best. Now back in system.io and we're in our digital store. So we want to head over to the button to add a new product. Now this first option I'm going to show you is the easier one to set up, but I think personally is the less effective way to actually sell your course. And I'll explain why I think that in a minute. 
And it's also not the most efficient way to do it in terms of delivering access to your course, which is another reason why I prefer method two. Anyway, to do method one, a quick and easy way, select this option to sell a digital download and then fill out this information just as I showed you before when we were selling the ebook. So add your thumbnail, create your title and your subtitle. Then we go to next. And now here again, we add the other image and fill out the information here to help you sell your course. So as you saw how I did it with my ebook, I could put a fair amount of information in here, but actually you can't put loads of information in here to help you sell your course. Usually when you sell a course is usually a more expensive item than like an ebook, for example. So it usually takes a bit more work on your end to sell that product, but you're going to be somewhat limited with how much copy you can add in here. So that's one drawback of this method. But it's not the end of the world, especially if it's more of a lower cost course. Anyway, as you scroll down, then you do all this the same as I showed you before, add your pricing plan and so on. And then when we come to the digital download section here, so with the ebook, as you notice, I dragged and dropped, or I just clicked on this to add the ebook, but you can't do that here if you're selling an online course. So the workaround is to create some kind of PDF that you can drop in here that will be emailed to your customer upon purchase, much like the ebook is when a customer purchases. On that PDF, you might say something like this, thank you for your purchase and look out for a separate email from us with your course access and let them know if they don't receive that email with course access from you within 24 hours or whatever, here's your email address for them to contact you. And then once the customer's made the purchase and you see their email address appear in your system.io account, you're going to have to go in here manually to add them to the course where you'd click on this button, add student, and then add the name, add the email address and add access type. So it's not as automated. It will still work for sure. The drawbacks are your customer's going to have to wait for you to be able to get to your account and then for you to add them manually. So it's not the best solution. So let's head back to the digital store and I'll show you option number two, which I think is probably the better option myself. So if I head back to the digital store and click on add new product. Now, out of these options for option number two, I'm going to select external link URL. So this is what you'd do with the affiliate link and then under sales funnels. Personally, I recommend it'd be better if you're selling an online course to create a separate sales funnel for that online course and then take the sales page URL of that course and drop it in here. So this way, this button here that will be showing on your digital store, when the person clicks on the button, they'll be taken to the sales page of your course and you've created that sales page in a separate sales funnel within system.io. So that way you'll be able to create a proper sales page with lots of information to help you sell your course. And by using the sales funnel feature within system.io, it'll automatically be able to give your customer instant access to your course upon purchase. So you don't have the manual headache of having to keep going to your system.io account to manually add people to your course, which will become a bit of a pain after a while, especially if you're selling a lot of them. Of course, the customer also gets instant access. And the third benefit is you can create a proper sales page to help you sell your course, which should help to improve your conversions as well. So heading back to our digital store here, that's personally what I would recommend is just to create this that would tell people the name of the course and a little bit about it and then link directly to the sales page of your course where they can find out more about it and purchase via your sales funnel in system.io. And one more thing you might like to do with your digital store if you're offering coaching or one-to-one -one calls or anything like that, let me show you how you can add that to your digital store so people can book in the sessions with you. So similar to option number two, I just showed you with selling online courses via your digital store. If you're selling coaching and consulting, then I recommend that you create your sales page in system.io under sales funnels and then we'll locate that sales page. And so this is my one. We'll copy the link here and then go back to our digital store and click on the add new product button. I'm going to select this one, external URL. So put my URL in here. That will link to my page where people can book one-to-one -one sessions with me. And then of course you just change your title, change your button text and add a little bit of information that will appear here in white about your one-to-one -one coaching and then click publish. And now let's go and have a look at our store. Click on the view button, the top right. So this is what we've currently just set up now. And of course I've done this pretty quick just to show you guys. I would spend a little bit more time just making this look a bit nicer, but you get the idea. This is how you put it together. It's very simple. And each of these resources here will give your customers different options when they come to visit your digital store. So that's how you can create your digital store in system.io. Now, if you're at the stage with your system.io account where you're ready to upgrade to a pay plan, they can get 40% off of your account using the link in the description below this video. Now, if you got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need more help with anything related to system.io, I've got lots of step-by-step -step tutorials on my channel and you can see my system.io playlist here.